Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how to enable or disable firewall using group policy in Windows Server 2019. So guys, without any delay, let's start our today's demonstration. Okay friends, so now we are on our lab environment. In computing language, a firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. A firewall typically establishes a barrier between a trusted network and an untrusted network, such as the internet. So friends, for this demonstration, we are using two virtual machines. My first virtual machine is my domain controller and I have provided the static IP which is 192.168.29.8 Now let me show you my second virtual machine So friends this is my second virtual machine with the name of VM and this machine is domain joint and I have provided the static IP which is 192.168.29.9 Okay now I am back to my domain controller So friends before we proceed first of all I will click on tools and now I will open active directory users and computers so it will open Active Directory Users and Computers Wizard. I will expand CaptechPro.online. Inside computers, you can see I have my virtual machine with the name of VM. So guys, we'll create one OU and we'll put this virtual machine inside that OU. And later on, we'll apply group policy on that specific OU. So to create OU, I will right click on my domain. I will click on New. I will click on Organizational Unit. Here I will give the name to my Organizational Unit. So after giving the name, I will click on OK. I will click on computers and now I will move this virtual machine inside my OU group policy OU. Now I will close this. So friends, now let's proceed and create a group policy to enable or disable firewall for our virtual machine vm.captechpro.online. So for that on my DC machine, I will click on tools. I will open group policy management. It will open my group policy and management wizard. I will expand my forest captechbro.online. Now I will expand domains. I will expand again captechbro.online. I will expand group policy objects. Now I will right click on group policy objects and now I will click on new. Now I have to enter a name to give to my group policy. After giving the name, I will click on OK. So you can see my firewall enable GPO is created. Now I will right click on it and now I will click on edit. It will open my group policy and management editor wizard. Under computer configuration, I will expand policies. Let me expand it. Now here I will expand administrative templates. Now I will expand network. Now I will expand network connections and here I will get an option of Windows Defender Firewall. Now I will expand my Windows Defender Firewall and now we are applying this policy to my domain profile so i will open domain profile let me expand it and now i will right click on windows defender firewall protect all network connections i will right click on it now i will click on add it it will open windows defender firewall protect all networks connection wizard now here i will simply select the radio button of enabled now you can read about what will happen if we will turn on windows defender firewall you can read it from here now we'll click on apply and we'll click on OK. Now you can see the status change to enable. So this policy will be only applicable for the domain profile. If you want to make it applicable for public profile, we have to click on standard profile. Now again, we have to click on protect Windows Defender Firewall, protect all network connections. We'll right click on it. We'll click on add it. Now again, we'll enable it. And now we'll click on apply and we'll click on OK. After this, we'll close Group Policy Management Editor console. Let me expand Group Policy Management. And now, we'll link this GPO with our OU, which is Group Policy OU. So we'll right click on Group Policy OU. We'll click on Link an Existing GPO. So this is my Group Policy, which is Firewall Enable. And now I will click on OK. If I will expand my OU, you can see my GPO is now linked to Group policy OU. So friend, now let's go to my VM server machine and let's test our group policy. Okay, so now we are on our member server. You can see the computer name is VM. First of all, let me disable the firewall. 
I will minimize the server manager. I will I will search for run. And here I will enter firewall.cpl to open firewall settings. So as of now you can see my in domain networks my firewall is on. Let me off it. So I will click on turn windows defender firewall on and off. Now under domain network settings I will select the radio button off turn off windows defender firewall. I will close it for private network as well as for public network. Now I will click on OK. So you can see now my firewall status off. I will close this and now let's update our group policy forcefully. So I will click on search here. I will type CMD. It will open my command prompt here to update the group policy. I will enter the command GP update forward slash force. You can see it's updating my policy. And you can see my computer policy update has completed successfully and also user policy update has completed successfully. Now friends to apply this group policy in a proper way we have to simply restart our server machine in which we have applied the group policy. Okay so now our server manager is restarted. Now we'll again click on search. I will open run and I will again open firewall.cpl. So you can see we have disabled the firewall but we have applied the group policy in a way like we don't want our firewall to get disabled. So you can see the message for the security some settings are managed by your system administrator. So our firewall is now in on state. If we will try to disable it, we'll click on this link. You can see the option to turn off the Windows Defender firewall is gray out. We don't have any option to turn it off. And you can see again the message some settings managed by your system administrator, which means our group policy is now successfully applied on this server manager. Similarly, you can create a group policy to disable the firewall. But in today's scenario, nobody wants to disable firewall in any environment. So guys, that's how we create a group policy and apply it to our member servers. So guys, that's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.